Welcome to the latest podcast from the Plastic Surgery Journal Club. Each month we review and appraise a journal article from PRS and summarise it for you in this short podcast. The full paper can be obtained from the PRS Journal website. Hi, this is Damien Marucci and Dr. Mark Rahman in the June 2016 Plastic Surgery Journal Club coming to you from Sydney, Australia. Uh, So, Mark, the next paper we looked at was from the New England Journal of Medicine. Not often that we do a plastic surgery paper from them, but uh, this one's very relevant. A phase three randomized trial of nicotinamide for skin cancer chemo prevention. This paper is actually also out of Sydney and it's from the RPA and Westmead group um, uh, centered around the University of Sydney. So, Mark, what was this paper about? Um, so this paper was uh, building on, on, on work that the group had previously done where they had shown that nicotinamide or vitamin B3 um, uh, may reduce the rate of actinic keratosis. And so the, the um, premise of this paper was, does it reduce non-melanoma skin cancers too? Uh, it was a double-blinded, randomised control, multi-centre trial, um, and uh, they recruited a total of 386 patients. Their inclusion criteria were patients that had had two non-melanoma skin cancers in the previous five years, so high-risk patients. They randomised them in a one-to-one ratio, um, half getting placebo and half getting 500 <coughs> milligrams of uh, vitamin B3 twice daily for a 12-month period. And uh, then they also follow them up for the six months after they That's right, yeah. had finished so, um, the treatment. So their primary endpoint yep. um, of the study was um, the number of new non-melanoma skin cancers during the 12-month treatment period, but they did follow up patients for a total of 18 months, so six months post-treatment. Uh, they, they had dermatologists uh, reviewing the patient um, at three monthly intervals during this whole 18-month period. Um, and um, and yeah, their results were, were, were quite remarkable. Yeah, they even had people counting the number of tablets remaining in the bottles to uh, estimate compliance or uh, assure it compliance was with the. A very, it's a very thorough. Very thorough yeah, it's very study, thorough. Yeah. And so, what results did did they find? So the main result, the take home message really from this is that um, um, during the uh, uh, twelve months um, post treatment. Um, there was a 23% reduction in non-melanoma skin cancers in the treatment group compared to the placebo group. Um, other uh, results were to note were that this this benefit didn't seem to persist post-treatment. So in in the six months following, there was no um, perceived no no um, obvious difference between the two groups. Um, also, they looked at adverse effects in the two groups, and there was no significant difference in, in the adverse effects between the two groups, indicating that uh, vitamin B3 is a, a, a pretty safe treatment. Yep. They also found a uh, few actinic keratoses um, in the treatment group, uh, and that fits with their previous work. Andy, did you have any issues with the paper at all? Um, no, look, I thought, I mean, it was a, a, we, all, we all thought it was a very well-designed, incredibly thorough thorough paper um, and yet simple in its um, in its um, design and its conclusions yeah. and also nicotinamide's a pretty safe uh, sort of vitamin to be recommending for people it's not like it's got an incredible um, uh, complication profile that uh, is going to make it contraindicated so I think it's a very simple thing to advise patients they can just buy it over the counter at the health food store yeah. uh, or in the supermarket uh, and certainly since reading this paper I've already could have put a couple of patients on it Okay, thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you for listening. For more of our podcasts, head to soundcloud.com or subscribe to us on iTunes and search Plastic Surgery Journals. Remember to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Thanks also to the PRS Journal team for their ongoing support.